And welcome back to my channel and for today's video we are joining you guys from Rome if you guys remember I actually bought this for Harrison for his Valentine's Day surprise and we have only got around to booking it now and it's what is it July no June it's June. Um, sorry, it's really bright, so I'm gonna put my sunnies on. I annoyingly have come down with, I don't know what it is, if it's hay fever, if I've got like a cold. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my sunglasses on because I don't look the best right now. But we have just touched down into the hotel, so I'm gonna show you guys. Touchdown little... hotel in Rome. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour. We're staying in the Rome Times Hotel, it's called. And then as soon as you come into the room, you've got the bathroom. She's super modern, it's really nice. You've got a toilet. I never know what this is. I feel like it's like... Bum washer. <laughs> could be a bottom half washer or feet washer. Then we've got a big mirror. By the way, guys, this airport outfit set was so comfortable. I got it from TikTok shop. So stretchy, so comfortable. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that one out there. Um, so yeah, this is the bathroom. And then you come out the bathroom and you've got our bed. We've got a huge TV, a little get and ready bit here. And then we have opened up the case already. And then in here are some doors and we've just got a big wardrobe here, mini fridge, some more like space for clothes and everything there. And then this is our view from our room. We are literally staying in central. So we are by everything. It was so embarrassing, right guys? We was on the way here and I went to Harris. Oh look, there's the Coliseum. And the taxi driver was like, There's not a Coliseum. That's not it. He said that's the baby version. And then he showed us the like the proper one. And I was like, okay, yeah, now I understand. But yeah, we're staying central, so we're near everything. It's such a nice hotel. So it's currently Saturday, like midday. We flew at like six o'clock this morning. I'm so tired. But it's fine, we can sleep later. But we're staying here till Monday, like late Monday evening. Our flight's not till like half past nine, so it's gonna be a bit of a late one home. So yeah, we're here for a nice little city break and we're very, very excited because we've both never been to Rome before. So it's currently midday. I think we're gonna go and get some food at four o'clock. We actually, this check-in wasn't till two, but the room was ready, so we had a bit of a touch there. We managed to come straight in. I have got a gallery museum type thing booked for 4 p.m. Most of the things that I've looked at doing in Rome was just because of TikTok, so that was very helpful. I really fancy pasta, but I'm, not, I'm gonna save it for tonight. I had a quick little outfit change. I've got on this little um, denim dress from Zara. We are boiling, like, it's so hot. But we've come to this little restaurant for some lunch. We're literally right by the Trevi Fountain. The Trevi Fountain's literally just down that road on the left. I'm thinking we get the bruschetta because that looked so good. Someone just had that as we walked in. I want to save myself a pasta. What are you going to get, Harrison? I don't know. What are you getting? Might get bruschetta. Just bruschetta. Drink something? Oh, yes, yes please. please. Hey, our food has come. I've gone for a pizza. Harrison went for like a tomato pasta. Really it sure. smells so good. Before you guys judge me, pineapple belongs on pizza. Second outfit change. We've just gone back to the hotel to get into something cooler because boy oh boy is that hot. It's bacon. But we are now on the way to, I think the world's biggest Zara. Apparently it's here in Rome and it's huge. But it's literally like 15 minutes from the hotel. I mean, we're central to pretty much everything here, which is great. Look how busy the Trevi Fountain is, guys. Like you'd actually be lucky to get space to try and get a picture at this time. It's like two o'clock. I think this was a good idea bringing this outfit. It's from um, River Island. It's a little play suit with this really cute like, little belt. We've arrived. Yeah, this is no joke. It's massive. Polly is in her element. Oh, guys. We're in the Zala. It's huge. The thing is, I can't get a lot because I can't take it home. No. I feel like they have stock here that the UK haven't bought out yet. I don't know if it comes here first and then it comes to the UK. There's that floor up there for men's and then all three levels are for women. But the only thing I would say is if this was your local Zara, you would be fed up with how busy it is because I can imagine this Zara is always packed. So this is the top floor, which is the men's. It's just crazy, I've never seen anything like it before. But this is a level we were just on and then there's two more levels. We've had to stop for a little ice cream. I say an ice cream, Harrison's now eating it all. I love it. Fuck this please. Got a bit. We just got vanilla. 
but I was just really craving plain oh, vanilla ice cream. That is lovely. My dad would love this. We always call him vanilla because whenever he has dessert anywhere, he just gets a vanilla ice cream or a vanilla milkshake. That is probably the best vanilla ice cream I've ever had. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. It's like Madagascan, isn't it? That's so good. Just collected our tickets for the gallery. Everywhere is so beautiful here. Let me show you from this angle. A little cocktail bar here. I can't remember the exact name of these gardens. It's not very good with the names here, okay guys? Everything in Rome's new to me. They gave us the tickets early, so I think we can, um... oh look, I didn't know. This had it on the back, Harrison, look. Harrison's taken loads of pictures for inspo for his tattoos. I really like this also. He wants one right there. Oh, maybe not. It's there, not there. We couldn't film loads in there because you weren't allowed to video. By the way, that is definitely someone that's important in this car. Because why would there just be a Range Rover park to, in here for no reason? But it was actually really beautiful in there. Got some little Instagram pictures, of course. But no, it was actually really lovely in here. Harrison got loads of inspo. But where did my nan from? Where did my both my nan's from? It's very, very religious country. So I love all the art, but like, yeah. it all looks really nice. We're just doing some more exploring. We're on the way to the Colosseum. Let's go and have a look from the outside as I tried to book it, but it was sold out. I think there's some type of like music festival going on over here today. Someone just tried to scam Harrison. He was like, take this bracelet. Harrison was like, no mate, because we just seen him do it to two English people as well. And they were like, no, 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 no. And he chucked it at them and then expected them to pay for it. So we didn't fall for that. You just gotta be firm with them and say no, I guess. And then they'll back off. First water refill we've seen. Thank goodness, because we need it. Get sparkling and still, that smell good. But we're outside the Colosseum. I think I'm saying that right, Colosseum. Could be saying that completely wrong. Taste test. What do you think of it? Harrison got a pepperoni pizza on the way back. We didn't stop off at the Colosseum for long because we're gonna come back properly tomorrow. We have done 15,000 steps and we are shattered so we're gonna it's about five ish o'clock we're gonna head back to the hotel relax for a little bit and then get ready again to come back up for dinner we're gonna go to the spanish steps for sunset though tonight very looking forward to my pasta tonight but we've had about a 20 minute walk back to the hotel so it's not been too bad but we've stopped so many times on the way back because it's just so hot good evening everybody it is eight o'clock and we are off to the Spanish steps to go and watch the sunset tonight and then I booked a restaurant which was highly recommended which was called Alfredo Alfredo however you say it so we've got that booked for afterwards which I'm very excited about little outfit of the night tonight I've got a little River Island dress on I've got a little hair clipping I've been a bit adventurous with my hair since I've been here so why not I am wearing the same as I changed into yesterday, because unlike Holly, I don't have to change outfit 20 times a day. It's like this, guys. Very nice, Holly, isn't it? A little white number. Give you that look at my dress. I've got new shoes on, so I'm gonna try and wear them in. Funnily enough, I actually went to River Island the day before coming to Rome, because I was like, I've got nothing to wear. And then I basically found all my outfits, so that was a result. Yeah. We are here, and this is the view. It's so pretty. We've arrived at tonight's dinner location. This is the name of the restaurant. This right here is what they are famous for. So of course, that is what I'm gonna go for. Harrison's gonna get meatballs, I'm gonna get this, and then we're gonna share. I'm gonna get the roasted potatoes. I'm already eyeing up desserts. Oh wow, that looks incredible. How excited are you? Very. Oh my god, that smells so good. They gave me the biggest plate possible. Harrison's got this plate. That's the plate they actually use to like, make it. Yeah, to plate. make it. Ooh. Nice. We also got some potatoes and some bread with my favourite balsamic vinegar and olive oil. You just can't beat that combo with bread, it's so good. Good morning everybody. It's another day in Rome and I've got my sunglasses on because my eyes will not stop watering. I don't feel like you get hay fever when you're abroad but 
my eyes, they're just streaming and streaming and streaming. So I'm gonna keep my sunglasses on. But we're heading downstairs for breakfast now because it's included in the hotel. It's 9.50 a and it finishes in half an hour, so we've really gotta go. Harrison is going to the gym after breakfast and I couldn't think of anything worse today, so I'm going to get ready in the room while he goes to the gym because there's a gym in the hotel downstairs. And then today I've got a few things on my list. I think it's just going to be a bit of hair down everywhere. Lovely hair. Yeah. Oh, look at this breakfast. It's incredible. Look at that. Cherry pie. Spoiled for choice. You know what? I just really fancied some fresh fruit. So that's exactly what I've got for breakfast. Croissant. I also went for a yogurt, a croissant, and some fruit. Orange juice, pineapple juice. Harris went for orange and water. Fit check. The weather doesn't know what it wants to do, so we're just gonna go and do some exploring. We have got the little boats we wanna do, but we can always do that tomorrow as well. So I think we're gonna go to like the Coliseum. We're gonna do like the Trevi Fountain and explore all over again today. This dress is from Stradivarius. I love it. My bag and my shoes. But guys, look at the back of the dress. Oh, Harrison, <laughs> look at the back of the dress. It's so cute. Uh, that one. First things first, before we do any more exploring, I need plasters because my feet, oh no. Pharmacy's closed. Might have to go and find another one. My feet, yeah, they're ripped to shreds. And I have got some, I have got some trainers, but they just won't go with the outfits, so. I'm gonna have to push through the pain and get some plasters. Guys, the plasters are not cutting it. We're going back to the hotel for me to get my trainers on. As much as I'm not a dress and a trainer kind of girl, I'm gonna have to because my feet are so blistered. Well, we got about five minutes away from the tree fountain and I was like, H, I need to go put my trainers on. A little bit cloudier today. But to be quite honest, it's more bearable. The, the sun's not like still beaming on us. But like, I'm still sweating. <laughs> but the sun's not on us, so it's not as bad. Well, shoe change is complete. This was definitely needed. I feel like a new woman in these. I feel like I'm walking like 50,000 steps today. They were so comfortable though. It's like my feet blistered overnight. Bit of live music going on here. Imagine this many people watching you do it, the pressure. It's actually pretty cool. We've stopped off for some lunch. I'm not sure what it's called where we are. We have literally just ordered and it's come already. Wow, wow, wow. wow. So this is the garlic bread, oh. lasagna, Caesar salad. Chicken. Oh, Caesar salad. And then I'm just waiting for mine. I've got tomato and basil pasta. I've got a Fanta. Harrison got a water. This is my two bites. That's the best lasagna I've ever had. Really? Let me try it. It looks really good, but I'm going to try it. Oh wow, that is incredible. Oh, I'm getting food envy now. This is like a completely different style of garlic bread that we know. Hello. It's crazy. It's so different. It's like it's just bread. It's not toasted. It's got like garlic, like garlic oil. sort of like oil on it. Oh, that's good though. <laughs> Loads of parmesan, just how we like it. <laughs> that was incredible. That could be one of the best Caesar salads I've ever had. Oh yes, I am covering this in parmesan. We have got to the famous gelato shop. They've got 150 types of um, of gelato in here. That mango looks amazing. Look at the dragon one. Guys, These are just so the chocolate many ones. Nutella, Ferrero Rocher. Guys, I'm sold. Passion fruit ice cream. Yes, please. Lovely. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Smashed it. You know what? I'm so full up from lunch though. That was a lot, but really good ice cream. You like yours? We have got ready for dinner. I've got on a little Stradivarius dress again. Can you tell that I went shopping there like 
the day before we came. Look at the back of it, so cute. Oh, and my hair as well, because we're gonna try and get a picture at the Trevi Fountain if it's not too busy. We keep changing our mind. We spent quite a long time at the Trevi Fountain just sitting there, taking it all in that we're gonna do the gardens tomorrow. Fingers crossed the weather will hold out for a few hours. I went to Sephora and got a few goodies. I've just got, um, just got some Olaplex for my hair, some like mini ones. And we're just on the way to a rooftop bar to see if they've got any space. Um, we haven't booked, so I doubt they've got space, but we're gonna go and try. Successful. We made it to the rooftop. This is the name of the hotel, and then we're on the rooftop. Oh, wow. Spoiled for choice. I do love a cocktail. I might have to go for, for this one. I love passion fruit. Here's my drink. Let's give it a let's give it a taste test. Wow. You don't like it, do you? Nice. No, it's the same reaction as the the ice cream earlier. It's just very sweet. I think I need a straw. Oh, hey, that's lovely. That's actually really nice. It's got like passion fruit foam in it. Actually really nice. Harrison was like, don't order these drinks because I know you won't like them or drink them. This is actually really good. Anything passion fruit, I just know I'll like it. Harrison's in his element because we're at a restaurant where he can people watch. This up here is just where we was for a drink. And then we're just here for some dinner because the menu looks really good. I've got fettuccine with ragu sauce. Harrison's got a salami pizza. Look how cute that is. Such a cute little picture. It took a little Polaroid of us. So I didn't mind paying five euros for this. I was like, come on guys, kiss each other, come on. <laughs> but Harrison's hat was in the way. This one's quite funny. But this one's really cute, I love this one. But it was 10 euros for both. My dinner has come, it's basically a bolognese. It looks so good. Got well. spaghetti bolognese. I'm jealous of that. You're jealous. Got some chips. I have been waiting for some ketchup and mayo. Harrison told me that I can't ask for ketchup with my um, or mayonnaise with my pasta, but because I got chips, I was like, "Can I have some ketchup for the chips, please?" And then she bought this back, so I was like, "Result, because that mayonnaise is going straight on the side of this pasta." Harrison went for a salami pizza. Is it good? I hope they're not judging me right now and they're seeing me having two sauces on my plate like this. Did we get back for Love Island? Yes, we did. I watched it on my phone. And it was so good. I feel like there's so much drama this year, but it's bedtime. So I will see you guys all in the morning for another day of exploring Rome. Good morning, guys. We are checking out because checkout's at 11, but our flight today isn't till like half nine at night. So we've got the whole day, even though it's raining. So we don't really know what we're gonna do, but we just had to check out now. And we're gonna leave our bags by reception. I have got my airport outfit on, so now I'm a bit conscious I'm gonna to be too hot in it. But I've just got, I have no leggings on, Zara top. I think it could be a little bit hot and then just my bag, because I've taken, I took this to the airport with me as my airport bag. My room. I had good sleep in there, you know? I've got a thing about pillows. What is that like? I've got a thing about pillows in hotels. They were good pillows. So we have my clothes at the hotel. It's boiling. The sun is so hot. It was always going to be hot though. No, but my app said it was going to rain all day. Yeah, but what, what did the temperature say? Exactly. It's so hot. I'm going to have to um, go back to the room and change. I just have to go and get my face and go and get changed and like it's going to be sun today. Okay, I don't know, I also put a mail of this and I said it was gonna rain all day. It's bright sunshine and it's so hot. From our room it looks really dark and like grey, but clearly not. Breakfast has arrived. We asked for we asked for chocolate croissants, they look insane. Look at that and they're warm. Chocolate. Wow. Let me This is gonna go everywhere. <laughs> Wow. I do love a croissant. Mm. That is a good croissant. An outfit change was 100% needed. Just got this little play suit from Sheen. Oh, it's the place. Very loud. Um, it's boiling. Absolutely boiling. We are walking to the villa. Borogese, Borogese, Borogese Gardens and we're gonna go on 
these little boats that you like, the little rowing boats you do yourself. About a half an hour walk from our hotel. So hot, guys. I'm even hot with this on because of the straps around the neck. Just no breeze. I'm giving Harrison the role of doing the boat. Are you gonna be able to? Are you gonna be able to do it? I'm not doing that. We've got 20 minutes, and there's so many like what they call geese. So many geese everywhere. Like if they come near me, I'm gonna be petrified. They call your number, and then you've got. To come back over when your 20 minutes is done. No, no, it's going to take about half an hour to get back. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Look at Harrison doing this boat. As we got on over there, I couldn't stop laughing at you. It was like the pressure. <laughs> you just sprayed me with the water. There's a turtle. I can't believe what I've just said. I literally screamed. I was like, oh my God, it's a turtle. Hi, mate. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at him swimming, I want one. We have a move. And she was judging me. <laughs> I'm not in the right seat, you're in the good seat. I'm just in the seat. You can right. still do it. Oh, it's guns, mate. I'm getting guns out for this kind of stuff, do you know what I mean? I'm an actual pro at this. She's taken over. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I'm actually a pro. Like, wait, no, 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 I've lost my rhythm. We've stopped off after we've just done our little boats, they were so fun, down by where the boats were, and I've got a sandwich, oh that scared me, I've got a ham, cheese, lettuce and tomato sandwich, this actually looks really good, I haven't had a sandwich since I've been here, so I'm going to go and tuck into this. I'm finishing this video while being at home, stupidly I didn't charge my camera and the last clip you saw was because of my battery dying on my camera, we absolutely loved it, we had the best time ever, so I would highly highly recommend going i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure to leave a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys next week tuesday 6 p.m for a brand new video Bye.